Hey guys, thank you for checking out this video. My name is George. In this video, we will learn how to use a switch with ESP32 using MicroPython programming language. What I have here is a switch module from Gorilla Cell ESP32 development kit. It has three pins, namely G for the ground pin, V for the supply voltage, and S for the signal pin. This is actually commonly used as a power switch for consumer products, but for the sake of education, it can be used as an input device. A switch functions similar to a button, which is this one, with a slight difference in their logic action. A button, when pressed, will connect its terminals, while releasing it, will disconnect its switch terminals. While in a switch, when you set it on the on state or active state, it will connect its switch terminals. Conversely, setting it to off state will disconnect the switch terminals. So let me set aside again the button module. For this experiment, you will also need an ESP32 development board with a MicroPython firmware plugged into it. This will serve as the brain for this experiment. An ESP32 shield from Gorilla Cell ESP32 development kit to extend the pins of ESP32 to pin headers for easy circuit connection. A 3-pin female to female DuPont jumper wires to connect the switch module to ESP32 and of course the switch module itself. I already have it set up in advance where the ESP32 is attached on top of the ESP32 shield. I also attach the switch module to the ESP32 through the DuPont wires by following a color coding which is black for the ground, red for the VCC and yellow for the signal pin while the other side of the DuPont wire is attached on ESP32 shield by matching the colors of the wires to the colors of the pin headers which is black to black, red to red, and yellow to yellow. For this experiment I choose GPIO32 as the input signal for the switch module. Now for the software part I prepared here to example source code for this demonstration. For example number one, we will explore the basics. Let me click the run current script to execute example number one. And we will use the repo for this. To read the current state of the switch module, we will send the switch that value open and close parentheses and hit enter. And the current value is zero, as you can see also in the switch module. Let me set it to the on state, which is one. And let me send again the switch that value to the repo. And as you can see, now the value is one. Now let's see a simple application of a switch module. With example number 2, the onboard LED will blink for every 300 milliseconds when the switch is set to on state and will turn off the LED when switched to off state. Let me set first the switch module to off state. Let me select example number 2 and click the run current script. Now, if I set the switch to on state, the onboard LED will start to blink every 300 milliseconds. And when the switch is set to off state, it will turn off the onboard LED. So let me turn it back on. So that's it. I hope you learned something from this. If you have any concern regarding this video, write your message in the comment box provided.
As always, the source code that is in here, including additional information, can be found in the companion blog post for this video at techtotinker.blogspot.com. Links in the video description. If you enjoyed this video, please do like and share so that it can reach more people who might benefit from this. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell because I will be uploading more videos like this in the future. Thank you and see you next time. God bless!